like this video, subscribe to the channel. Yo, what's up guys, new Siege video playing against Doubt, my previous kills, and Dragon Odin. So, of course I have to hit Vili. Of course, I, sorry Vili, of course I have to hit you. He also hit me, first hit he did was on me. I'm not sure it was the first, but he had a hit on me, for sure. So, we seen a lot of Nana defenses these days, and Nana is good. Nana is a little bit too good. So, is this a good counter to Nana? Well, I did have the... Um, benefits of him being full on will so that's very good for this counter in general for me it's just this team is just too good. but i feel like if i would miss some bombs and stuff like that this could lose but nana's that strong nana is that strong but they also have something interesting that's also new on their defenses which is this at first i was like yo this is supposedly not that good right but actually a lot of our guildies were struggling against this awusa on defense Wusa is actually legit toxic it's, i don't know man the wusa does so much damage literally you can put the wusa on destroy and he starts dealing damage of what like 14ks 16ks easily so Bovre can handle that, but if that hit of 16k goes on a Amelia, that's painful because Amelia ends up with half of her HP in the first place. So that's that's a lot of HP. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. So, and also a lot of the um, defenses people use, they use a sort of slow clear something, and. If you use anything that is the defense-based unit, Wusa hard counters defense-based units because defense-based units have very low HP, and Wusa ignores H uh, ignores the defense. So that's that's very strong. I think you will get. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> that's half HP. What? Wait, what? That's illegal. That should not be a thing. That should not be a thing, man. Wusa. Man, I, I'm I'm starting to get so annoyed by Wusa's also an RTA and everything. Man, Wusa needs a nerf. Please give Wusa a nerf. I feel I currently am literally on the point that I feel like Wusa in RTA is more annoying than Nana. I don't know. Wusa is just broken. That unit does does so much damage for no reason. Legit, I started using Nigong in RTA just because they have the same second skill. Nigong S3 does nothing. I don't even care it's there. I just want it all on cooldown so you have damage reductions. I don't even want the skill itself. I just want the passive of cooldown reduction. So yeah. That about woos us. Next team. A team we've been seeing quite a bit more. Ayuno being buffed recently. Chilling, still doing a lot of damage. And yeah. Dan Carcano, like always. Nothing new. Nothing strange. 8k. Not much. Probably Tanky Karkana. I really love that skin. I really, really love that skin of the Anubis. So, main thing you want to do with this team is make sure that the Karkano actually has the lowest HP. And then, you poof. I think I kind of overkilled it with 46k. Uh, maybe this is one. Yeah, I have a bunch of Karkanos and this apparently was one of my damage Karkanos. 11k on glancing. Not bad, it's still. Not bad, not bad. But these defenses, I feel like if you have to fight them a bunch of times, they can be pretty tricky. They can be pretty, pretty tricky. But the first time hitting them, this team, I, 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 like, if you don't have a net 4 uh, offense yet, and you're trying to search for a net 4 offense, make this one. You don't even have to ruin it that good, just go minus uh, fire on the Triana, you're Gucci. And they also used similar style in the net 5, which I think is okay, apparently it outspeeds me! Uh, uh, wait, what? The comeback? The comeback? Did this task fail successfully? <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Task failed successfully. Let's call it that way. 
Okay, this team again. Uh, could be a little bit tricky because my Shina is somewhat squishy, I would say, in this uh, this case, this scenario. But mm, I feel like it should work. I was not sure whether I should heal here or not, but I feel like if he would lap, I think it's better not to heal there yet because this will proc passive anyways, and at that point you can heal. So there you remove all of the, the annoying stuff and from there you can actually start just killing things. So sometimes it's not best to heal. It just depends if you get like a unit that with multi-hitter afterwards or not or something like that. I do have a whole bunch of accuracy on um, these twins. The twins already get 25% extra accuracy and it's another 25 on the whole team rather than just on one unit. So hmm, that's an interesting one. I'm gonna make a video about like hidden mechanics, and this is one of the ones that I should mention in there. Mm. Because Shina actually gets passive to the whole team, not just the twin. And then now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the strongest Julie. But wait, but wait, <laughs> this task also failed successfully. Because Julie S3, wait, maybe I tab on it, maybe I tab on it so you can actually read it. Okay, so... Throws the numerous cards, so it could have felt really badly if I did get hit. So then I would only throw four instead of six. And you do 50% additional damage for each beneficial effect. And there is armor break on all of them. This is not supposed to happen. But this does do a lot of damage. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> that was a lot of the. Okay, he also did a lot of them. But let's go for the replay. Let's go for the replay. We start off with 20k across the board because shield was still there. So this is a 20k after breaking the shield. But because of the shield, you actually do a 50% extra damage already. The shield is only what, like 15%? So, yeah. But then afterwards, followed by 18k's. Yeah, that's very deadly that's very deadly and for all the people asking right now i will edit in the stats of the jewelry right here because i know everyone's gonna ask it's not even that crazy i'll add in the artifacts and the stats of the jewelry. but yeah that's just jewelry at the right moment at the right time with an armor break what still buffs there it actually does a lot of damage i actually should try a rush where i just um what do you how do you say it I just use Julie instead of Lucian. Because currently, especially in Europe, it's very much a Vanessa meta to put on leads. But the thing is, I think... Hmm, I'm not sure if Julie would do enough damage, though. And you kind of need a Galleon with that as well. Maybe if I go... No, then it's difficult to outspeed Tritons in the first place. Because you kind of need something to outspeed the Tritons, but also armor break. Hmm, difficult. You could, for example, just Fisama, Bernard, Julie Galleon, I guess. So what is armor broken? Dies, what is not armor broken? Has immunity, also dies, hopefully, I'm not sure. Hmm, should test that out, should test that out. Something for a next rush. Sounds fun, sounds fun. Removing the Lucians, going for the Julie. Well, this is one of those teams, you just slow cleared another Wusa. We have seen a lot of Wusas on defense. We did see a lot of Wusas on defense. Which is uh, a fun unit. But this Velagil is one of those defense type units. If the Wusa does an S2 on that Valajul, it's uh, half HP already. That's it just is too much. Also, I noticed that Feng Yang should actually have some proper amount of accuracy if you're fighting a resistance lead. That's no to self. Yes, that's pretty, pretty important. But in the end, the fight was pretty, uh, pretty easily done, I guess. It's funny that Wusa still aims for the armor broken unit while Wusa S2 does not help with armor break. It doesn't change anything, it's ignore defense. 
Well, actually, they ignore defense of Wusa is kind of in line of what other units do with um, the artifacts lines of additional damage. And then Wusa kind of got their own twist to it. Hmm. I don't know. Should it be nerfed? Let me know in the comments what you think. Wusa nerf S2 or not? And now we are hitting something that is uh, very toxic. I think I should have picked something else here because this thing, we got two AoE disperse stunts already. I gave one disperse stun back. Yeah, that's the thing. You can go resistance leads against this, but resistance lead doesn't matter if they're 85 ek. And the thing is, Nana lead makes you 85 ek. So this is, uh, yeah, and Iris, I actually should have stomped the Iris. The chance of stunning Iris is higher than she counter and despairing me. But now, she counter, or she hits as one, and she despair stuns me. So that's... Maybe I should not have used Sean. Maybe I should have used some other unit next to it that can cleanse, because those stuns are too much. Okay, at least I can proc out. Maybe something like a Annabelle or something else that AoE stuns or anything like that with some heals would have worked, because I literally get stunned like every hit by this Iris. And that's not really helpful. There's always something stunned. Well, technically, it's a 1 in 4 chance, so it's not always stun, but pretty close to. And another stun. <laughs> this, this team is toxic, man. <laughs> and the thing is, I could kill something right now, but the moment he kills something, it's already... Yay, Nana has two stacks. You're never gonna win again. Okay, okay. I guess I gotta figure out a different offense against this, and I'm pretty sure this kind of stuff is gonna get meta. I do can hit a turret. But on who? Because Nana is still there and it doesn't really even matter. And we got more stunts. Yeah, this team is uh, very deadly. More stunts. More stunts. I gave stunts back. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm dead as hell. I'm super dead as hell. Only chance is going three times as one right now. Yeah, never mind. Ain't gonna happen. More stunts. <laughs> okay, that's my uh, first lose of today. That's uh, an interesting one. And I can tell you that defense actually took a lot of wins from us, but also from Doubt and everyone. So then trying out something else. I was not sure if I was going to lap, so why not? Um, using Nana with the Molong and the Nigong. The Molong and the Nigong currently are on different builds because before they were pretty fast. Can we take a chill, Mr. Drago? Drogon? Drago? Something? But currently they are a little bit different build because I actually have them on um, defense. So it's Fio right now, a bit more tanky right now. Still decent fast. So yeah, let's just try and see how this works because it's actually pretty fun. It's pretty toxic. The moment the enemy doesn't have too much to CC me, then this team should totally work against a lot of stuff. That unit does a decent amount of damage. But look at that. 17 plus or 17k heal and it's this little HP. Imagine how much HP this dumb thing has. <laughs> that thing has too much HP, man. But that's also a thing. Soul Revive goes over the revive of Nana. So I still have a Nana stack. So even if something dies right now, it's still Nana stack. It doesn't matter. I can Reckless Assault this here even. And it doesn't even matter because I get another Nana stack. Oh, you kill it. You can kill it. I don't mind. Nana stack, 34k HP. So that's the difference between a Nigong revive and a Nana revive. 17k HP difference. It's literally double. The revive is literally double. It's insane. Of the revive of Nigong. Okay, Nigong S2 currently is already 2 OP, but the revive of Nigong is, is useless. Nigong is only good right now because of the S2 and the S3 passive. The S3 passive is legit, but S3 revive. It's an absolute shitter. And then the final hit. Kind of smearing-ish a team. And if I land on Tessarion first, he doesn't land on me. That's the funny thing. The Tessarion versus Tessarion interaction is that the first Tessarion that gets his skill off is probably going to win. Unless they heavily proc out. But hee <laughs> hee. We also have that option. 
But yeah, the thing is, if one Tessarion oblivions the other Tessarion, Tessarion cannot oblivion Tessarion. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, that's one way to kill these kind of teams. Just was trying to figure out a few ways to kill these teams. We had a whole bunch of new defenses today that we had to fight. And I think we have one more siege and then the siege tournament is happening. Currently we are going for uh, top 4. I think we're currently rank 3 or 4? I think 4. So we would not have to play the first week. So it might happen the next week is no a siege. But I'll let you know. Uh, during a video of the next siege, which will probably be on probably Friday, maybe Saturday, somewhere around there. Also, if you haven't noticed yet, check out my Discord. I am trying to do a stream by schedule for a few weeks, days, months, something, I don't know. Let's see if that actually works. So, if you want to check out the schedule, schedule is in my Discord, so join the Discord. It's a nice community. You can ask questions. People help you. It's solid. And guys, that's my last hit. Going going 9 out of 10. Only losing to this Iris Nana. Nonsense. But that's... I still have to find counts too. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, see you in the next one. Whole bunch of other videos to come. So subscribe to the channel. Like this video. And have a great day.